Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Melissa. And today we're doing our May 2017 pickup video. Yes. And it was a little bit of a light month, but we got some. Busy. We were busy, yeah. Mm -hmm. We were busy with a lot of stuff. But we did some thrifting, we did some retail. So let's get the amiibo out of the way. <laughs> the uh, amiibo in the room? The, <laughs> the amiibo in the room, yeah. Uh, this Fire Emblem Echoes came out, and it came out with this pair of. Amiibo double pack. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to get it at Best Buy because I have a gamers club, but I missed it there, so I just grabbed it. Uh, we had a coupon at Toys R Us, so I grabbed it there. Yep. Uh, I've been getting the Fire Emblem Amiibo because they're kind of cool. And that's it. We've just been getting all the Amiibo. Come on. Just Not finally all. admit it. No, there's tons of Kirby and other series that I'm not getting, the Mario series and stuff. But I am getting Fire Emblem, Zelda, Super Smash, and you're getting Animal Crossing. We're almost done. Okay. Except they keep making more. Yeah, that's the problem. All right, let's do the thrifting. So we had some out of town guests, most notably your brother, and he likes to go thrifting still. So yeah. we went out once. You actually went with him one day and grabbed. Oh yeah, we were at uh, we were doing garage sales because it's garage sale season. Yeah. And um, so we were out, and he's like, "Oh, there's a sign. We should go." And I said, "Okay." But so you didn't get that. No, we didn't. We also we. Okay, I'll just say we went to this thrift store, and they had all kinds of stuff, and they had Atari 2600 volleyball. So I that was the only one they had that I didn't have. Yeah, I text you and I said you want it, yeah. and um, so we got it. Yeah, I got it because it's in yeah. great shape. Yeah, it is. It's a really good label. So what's with the garage sale? I forgot. Well, we. I that was There's like, nothing there. That was like a hectic day. Sorry. So I, I realized oh, now that okay. we did a ton of stuff. We went to the dry cleaners. We went to the thrift store. We stopped at garage sales and there was nothing. Okay. So that so, was from a thrift shop. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So he and I went out uh, one afternoon, hit a couple of the thrift shops around. And um, I'll start with the manual because I often do. I got a uh, Pokemon trainer's guide and apparently it's for Pokemon Yellow, which I have. So I was glad to get that yeah. because you don't see these very much and they're mm -hmm. kind of expensive. and. At least I have one manual for Pokemon. And then um, at the same store, I grabbed, actually, I don't remember all of these. Some were Goodwill, some were this other local store. I'll just go through them in this order. Um, Wario Master of Disguise, this was there. The last time I went to that shop, didn't grab, got, get it, but this is the second time I went, since there were some other things I was getting, I bundled it and grabbed this. I'll grab a Wario game. Um, also found um, at another, I guess I'll do them in this order, at a Goodwill. Where did I find this actually? I don't know where I found I this. Sea Blade. Oh, I found it at a pawn shop. Okay. Um, I don't know. It The cover looked cool. It was real cheap. I forget what they charge. It's like a buck or something. Mm -hmm. It's like a shooter. Uh, and it kind of reminds me of Crimson Skies. but. Mm. Uh, so it's kind of cool. So maybe, I don't know, it didn't get great reviews, but it seems like it could be kind of fun. And it's in good shape, so I grabbed it. And then at that same pawn shop, they had um, Two Worlds, which I hear is awful. <laughs> but it's an RPG. you got to be kidding me. And then me. going to the other store, they had Two Worlds too. So in the same day, I got Two Worlds and Two Worlds too. Two Worlds of awful. Two games, not that great. But there were a couple okay. of bucks, we'll and talk boom, about wiped that. it out. We'll talk about that later. All right, whatever. And then your brother was kind enough, even though I don't have this game and he does, and I'll tell you what he got instead. Okay. Uh, he was kind enough to let me have the uh, Pokemon uh, Diamond and Pokemon Pearl book. And in hindsight, maybe I should have let him have it because he's got the games, but I hope to get him someday. Okay. He, however, bought a $20 Xbox One, no, $20 Xbox 360 with... Power supply and um, a hard drive. It had the 20 gig hard drive on it, and it worked. And it was 20 bucks. We like went into the store. We found a TV. We plugged it. In, we did everything. We tested it. Read a disc, just fine. So for 20 dollars, he got an Xbox 360 with the hard drive, which is a little bit hard, mm. a little bit unusual. And then he also found a NES Mini, Super Nintendo Mini, okay. uh, a, a Super Nintendo Mini, uh, the Slim. 
uh, and that also worked. So he got a pretty good deal on those. So he, he grabbed two consoles and he had to fly yeah. those home. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You can't say NES Mini because that's like I, I know. a new thing. So I, this is like an old system. Oh, right. Yeah, it's the Super Nintendo. Yeah. The Super Nintendo Slim. Yeah. Uh, just, just loose, just by itself. Yeah. But it worked, so that's a nice little item to have, especially yeah. for the price he got for it. Good thing he comes with empty suitcases. Yeah, he did. When he comes to visit. So, yeah, not much there in terms of thrifting, just yeah. a couple of items. But we did get a couple of items from retail in addition mm -hmm. to the Amiibo. They are, do that one first. Okay, for the Nintendo 3DS, Gunvolt Striker Pack. Azure, Azure Striker, Striker Gunvolt Gun Striker, Striker Pack. This is something that I think Curtis from Girlfriend Versus and Nintendo both recommended or were talking about. And the price went down a little bit and I grabbed it. And of course, in the weeks since I bought it, it's, it's gone steadily down gone down. Amazon keeps dropping the price by like 80 cents a day or some weird amount. Oh, this is a Yacht Club game. Oh, cool. Those are the guys from, um, I can't remember the name now. I know, I can't either. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight, thanks. Anyway, yeah. And apparently they're going to re-release this for the Switch. Oh, okay. Well, that's so. okay, because we don't have Switch, so we're not getting one, so. <laughs> we're not getting we're okay. one. We're not getting one today. No, we're getting one ever. Sometime ever. And then a big uh, a game that I would not have had on my, not have had on my radar at all if it weren't for the Cartridge Club. Uh, which we made near a Cartridge Club game of the month last year. Near Automata just Automata. came out. No. I say Automata too. It's Automata. Near Automata. Um, day one edition. Day, I didn't buy it on day one, obviously. No. I, I did get it at a price drop. And um, I finally grabbed it. It's still sealed. I haven't played it yet, but I am tempted. Tempted to play it. Mm. So that is the last. That's probably the first game we bought in the month. But it's the last game we'll talk about. Do you get to play the first one to play this one? Like, is there a connection? I don't. I don't think there is. Okay. I'm not Tell really sure. Yeah, if you guys you know, know if there's no a connection. No, rocket sauce. Rocket would. sauce would know. All right, so leaving it up to you, rocket um, sauce. It's been getting really great reviews. I think uh, people are really digging it. It's Square it's, Enix. It's cheap. It's been on sale a number of times. Um, Look, I'm looking forward to trying. And Mars should get it because it's a Blu-ray disc. <laughs> it's a Blu-ray. All right, okay. that will do it for May 2017. Not a big month, but uh, That's okay. I think some good pickups regardless. And some two crappy ones. Supposedly. Yes. If you enjoyed the video, like us and subscribe.